What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing an amazing rain team with Palafin and Pelipper for Series 2. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I mentioned, we're using Rain in Series 2, and Rain is always strong. No matter what the format is, anytime, anywhere, Rain is always a solid choice. Same thing with Series 2 here. Pelipper and Palafin, definitely very strong, can rock out and do some crazy damage. But Pelipper's going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. One of my favorite Pokemon, Paloops, over here with Drizzle and the Focus Sash as its item and ability it's got hurricane it's got chilling water which is a stab move that also lowers physical attack and then we got wide guard and tailwind for our other two moves palafin's gonna be our second pokemon you guys already know this little dolphin is an absolute menace once you get it swapped out into its hero form it's got mystic water jet punch wave crash close combat and protect which i feel like any move set with this palafin is really strong once you get into its hero form it just can just do crazy damage and pretty much ko a ton of pokemon in one shot Third Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands, top tier Pokemon for Series 2, but this one's a little bit different. Its build is a tad bit different. It has Sword Stance on it. So if you have a chance to get Sword Stance up on Iron Hands, it's pretty much GG's, right? It can KO anything in one shot, or well, almost anything. You guys get the idea of that. But Sword Stance, plus two are attacked, and then we can just rip into Pokemon left and right. This Pokemon has Lumberry, Quick Drive as its ability, Fake Out, Sword Stance, Drain Punch, and Thunder Punch for an amazing moveset. Iron Moth is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and Iron Moth always good all around, but this one's a little bit different as well. It can be paired up with Pelipper and drop Hurricanes in the rain, which are 100% landing, and this thing has a Flying Terror, so gives it the stab boost on top of that. This one has Quirk Drive, Booster Energy as its item and ability, Hurricane, Fiery Dance, Sludge Wave, and Protect. Fifth Pokemon is going to be our Amoongus, nice little support Pokemon to kind of gel out this team. This one has Regenerator alongside with the Citrus Berry, Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog, and Pollen Puff for its moveset. King Gambit's going to be your final Mon. King Gambit's that Pokemon that is good on any single team. This one's pretty normal and straightforward with Defiant and Assault Vest as item. Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and Low Kick for its moveset. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Series 2 rain team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Gravity Sandy Shocks team with Talon Flame, Espathra, I should say Speed Boost Espathra, that Pokemon is really good. Then they got Iron Bundle, Hydreigon, Sandy Shocks, and Serena over here. Serena's going to be a great Pokemon for countering first turn priority moves such as my Sucker Punch and my Fake Out, so I do have to watch out for that Pokemon. But I feel like Pelipper and maybe Palfin is going to be a solid lead for us, right? It makes a lot of sense. Do I do it? <clears throat> I think Iron Bundle's going to come out for him. A little bit of a problem, but we can deal with it when it, when it, uh, when it comes through. So I'm going to go Palafin. I'm going to go Pelipper. Try to get the rain combo rocking out here. Next Pokemon after that. I'm thinking I'm just going to go into maybe like Iron Hands. Hmm. Definitely kind of want Iron Moth, right? Iron Moth could be solid. I think I go Iron Moth and Iron Hands. Yeah, I'm really liking that. I am definitely really liking that. I know a Pokemon that we are going to have to watch out for is going to be that Sandy Shocks. But I feel like once we get off Tailwind, we could pretty much roll out this battle and uh, take Speed Control. Depending on what they do, because they also have a uh, talent frame for their speed control. But let's see what they lead. I feel like Iron Bundle has to be, be a lead here, right? Iron Bundle or talent flame, one or the other. They gotta they gotta bring in one of them right here, right? Or maybe even both. It's gonna be Serene and Talon Flame. So they do have the Serene out on the field. <coughs> that thing could be a problem for us again for first turn priority moves. So I can't jet punch right now. Which kinda sucks. And from here, mmm. He's going to outspeed me. You are definitely going to outspeed me. I'm just going to set up a Talon of my own. And I'm going to hard swap into my Iron Moth here. Just because the screen will, is going to outspeed me after the Talon Flame gets first turn priority on the Talon. So let me just hard swap the Palafin, keep it alive, and get after the battle that way. Because I can definitely see a Trope Kick coming out here, right? It would make the most sense. It would definitely make the most sense. So my booster energy is coming out here. My cork drive is here. Is it speed, special attack? It is speed. Really good for us. So we get a little bit of speed. The Tailwind does come out. Again, I do think the Trap Kick is coming into the uh, Iron Moth slot. Or, or Power Whip. That's fine. That's exactly why we swap. Beautiful. Lovely. And now I match his Tailwind. The Tailwind is now matched. Pretty big for us. Uh, I feel like from here we just go into a nice little chilling water. Then I could also Hurricane here. But Hurricane might not KO, but still, do a decent amount of damage. 
I was going to Traslize, but I just feel like saving our Traslization could definitely come in handy, especially with the Palfin in the back end. I do like that. I do like that. So that's a great first turn for us. We A, we, we matched Tailwind. B, we were able to swap our Palafin and put him into hero form. And now we're sitting in a great position with Iron Moth and Pelper on the field. My fault. Iron Moth and my boy Paloops. Gotta always call him Paloops because he's, he's my dog. He's my dog. But I feel like our opponent's sitting in a weird spot. He doesn't really know what to do. He might end up terrestrializing that Town Flame. He ends up just withdrawing the screen. Okay, so he wants to save it for later for first turn priority purposes. He's gonna go into Sandy Shocks. Okay. I mean, I guess I could deal with that. Pokemon is going to be rather fast, but we could deal with that. We could definitely deal with that. Booster Energy is going to come out here. Its speed is going to also be high. So I, I wonder who's actually faster. Vapor's going to fly here, and that KOs us. That hurts that it KOs us. That picks up KO. Recoil damage going to do a nice chunk. And can Chilling Water KO? I know it's only 50 base power, but still. Still, get it. Chilling Water does KO. Okay, I'll take that turn. I will take that turn. Hmm. So what's the play from here? Palafin come out here? I do like Palafin here. I do like Palafin, but at the same time... I do like you. You know, I'm gonna bring in Iron Hands here. I feel like we need to get rid of Serene in order to do stuff. <coughs> so Iron Bundle also comes out here. Now we're sitting in a little bit of a weird spot. Because I'm thinking of just throwing a chilling water into you. And terrasi I might terrasize in the grass here. Do I terra in the grass here? And just chilling water this thing? Because we could fake out if we want to. Do I have sash on my pelper? That would be a good thing. We do have sash on my pelper. I do like that. I do like that. I might even Wygar because an icy wind could come out here, right? I feel like we're sitting in such a tough spot. I'm gonna chilling water. Mm. I'm gonna go for chilling water here, and you know what? I'm just gonna go for drain punch into the iron bundle slot. Is he gonna swap? Is he gonna swap? No, we're gonna see a Thrasslash come out here. So who are you Thrasslash? Probably Sandy Shocks, right? Yeah, Sandy Shocks comes out here with Thrasslization. Goes into straight ghost. Okay. Straight ghost with Sandy Shocks. But I feel like our problem this match is that Serene. Just having that ability, like, there, it seems like it's a problem. Earth Power comes out here. That's some crazy big damage. Freeze Dry is also going to come out here. We have Focus Ash, which is really good. And I could have I could have faked out, but I ended up not because I did think they were going to swap with the Serene or have a slight chance. And of course, of course, my Pelipper gets frozen. Can you, un can you thaw out here? You do thaw out. Okay, big dog Pelipper coming in here with a chillin' water. Doing a little bit of damage. I wish it would have stayed as typing. And we get an attack drop on the special attacker. So it doesn't do too much. Drain Punch comes out here. We trigger Focus Ash and go from there. We can indeed go from there. So how do I want to play this one? I'm not too sure how I want to play this one. I just want to double down an Iron Bundle. I think we got to get rid of Iron Bundle here, right? I feel like if we want a shot, we have to we have to get rid of Iron Bundle. What is your terror type? It's gonna be grass, and I am going to. Oh, I should have terrored in the grass right there. I should have terrored in the grass right there. <laughs> That's why that Earth Power is doing too much damage. I wanted to terror in the grass, ended up not doing it. It's okay. We still have Palafin on the field, even though Palafin's a tough customer. Definitely tough here. Hmm, because he can one-shot my Palafin no problem, right? He can take out my Palafin no problem whatsoever. I, and I can't use first turn priority moves, which sucks, because I can just dump on that. I can just dump on that Sandy Shocks right now if, if I could use first turn priority moves. But now I'm forced to bring him out. Terrasalize isn't going to do anything, right? Serene's going to come out here. I don't like where we're sitting. I mean, I have to protect, but... At the same time, he has two Pokemon that can absolutely rip into my Palafin. So yeah, rough, rough match for us here. I don't think we played bad. But I feel like the only way out of this is going to be protecting you. And like, landing a Thunder Punch into you, right? That would be our only way. But I doubt he doubles down on my Palafin slot. We still have Terra, but Terra's not going to do anything. Earth Power does come out there. 
and that, that's GG's. That is GG's, because he's going for the Power Whip here, and now he can just double down. Hit me with a Thunderbolt or Power Whip, and they both KO. My best bet might have been just staying in here, but it's over. It's over. It is over. I'm just going to run this battle. Palafin's not surviving this, this next Thunderbolt. It's GG's. It is G to the G's. Run this one. We'll hop into our second match. Look for a first victory. So, guys, our first match did not go as planned. We didn't terrestrialize at the right time. We made a few bad plays, and our opponent ended up ultimately winning the battle. But it's all good. We got battle number two and battle number three to come back here and bring you guys a great video. So, we're going up against a really cool Trick Room off meta team with uh, Poltegeist, Arcanine, Brute Bonnet, Perigraph, and then Iron Hands and Slow King. So, this is 100% Trick Room team. And I got to bring in my Amoongus, right? Amoongus has got to come in here. I could also bring King Gambit for the lead. But I'm thinking I'm just going to lead Amoongus, right? But lead my Amoongi Moongus. Or I could just lead Palf and Pelper again, which I really like. I low-key really like that. We just have to watch out for, obviously, the uh, the Iron Hands. But I feel like we could be fine with that. I feel like we could definitely be fine. I could put to sleep. I can get some work done on it. And then last but not least, I'm thinking of bringing in the boy right here. King Gambit. Or, you know, Iron Hand's going to be great here, too. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I said we lead Iron Hands. Just seems like a simple lead. He's probably going to lead Frigoraph. But at that point, I can set up a Sword Stance. So I like that. I do like Palafin. Palafin's not too bad here. I don't think Palafin's bad here at all. I'm going to go Palafin and... We're going to bring Gambit and Amoongus. Yeah, I like that. So I'm hoping... They're leading like for Rigraf or whatever Trick Room Setter without Iron Hands. Because at that point, I could set up a Sword Stance. Arcanine might also be a lead here, but I would still set up the Sword Stance here. It just seems like the play. It just seems like the play. Because Sword Stance, they're not expecting it on the Iron Hands. And if I can get that set up and they can Trick Room for me, GG's. And of course, they're going to lead their Iron Hands. That sucks. It definitely sucks. So I'm gonna go for Swords Dance here. I'm not even gonna go for the fake out because they've got Frigoraph on the field. I'm thinking of just hard swapping into my Amoongus. Right? Gotta be my play. Got to be my play. So I hard swap into Amoongus. We go into our hero form. We can use that Palafin for later. It has jet punches. It can get some work done. And we're hoping that the fake out's going into that slot, right? Oh no, what is he doing? We're straight up Swords Dancing here. We're straight up Swords Dancing. Did we get off a big time? Oh, he has Sword Dance too, yo. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. That is wild. That is wild. That is wild. I've never seen Sword Dance on a, uh, Iron Hands until I rented this team today. And of course, the first Iron Hands I see has it. That is wild. That is wild. Well, let's see what other Pokemon they have. I think I'm just going to start throwing Drain Punches into that left slot. Just start teeing off from there and then put uh, Iron Hands to sleep. That's gotta be my place. <laughs> We're gonna drain punch. I can actually clear smog it. Which I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna clear smog it. Instead of spawn it, we're just gonna clear smog it. We're just gonna clear smog it. No problem. It's no problem. We'll take off its stats. Take off the stats. So he ends up terrestrializing here. Totally fine. Into grass. Thinking that I was gonna spore. And I was gonna spore. I was gonna spore, but nah, so Neil, we're clear smogging you. We are clear smogging you. So that's just a lucky, lucky play on our our end. I'll take it all day. We end up clear smogging and we get rid of his uh, stat boost. Drain Punch gonna fly into me. I'm able to soak pretty well. Plus, I'm gonna get my HP back after I hit up on this little giraffe. I like, I like Frigraph. I think it's a cool Pokemon. Hyper Voice comes in hot here. And I'm actually surprised that you outspeed my Iron Hands here. This thing is gonna be Throat Spray. I'm gonna go put the punchies on it. The Drain Punch flying here. The big time damage. We like that damage. We do like that damage. We do indeed like that damage. So from here, what should I do? Do I just drain punch you down again? Or, you know, I think I just put that thing to sleep. I think I just put that thing to sleep and go from there. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. I like it. I like it. A little bit of spore action. Not gonna spam the sleeps. I know I don't like it, so I'm not gonna spam them. But that was that that that, that was that was worth it there. He ends up drain punching me. I'm gonna drain punch back. I am going to drain punch back. I want my HP back. I'm surprised that thing outspeeds me. Plus, we're wasting out some good trick and turns. Just lovely, beautiful. The big time damage coming out here. 
We're getting a huge chunk of HP back. And it sucks because he gets to go first. He gets to go first. And of course he has a berry. So we're slowly fighting back and forth with this uh, Iron Hands going on. I'm thinking just drain punching that thing again. Get an HP back and going for probably a Pollen Puff in this slot. Maybe I should have done that uh, the first turn. But it's fine. Maybe I should have done that the first turn instead of putting it to sleep. But I wasn't sure if Pollen Puff could KO here. We'll see. It does. Okay. So sleep was a waste of a turn. But again, we get the waste out the trick from turns. I'm really cool with that. I'm really cool with that. I got Palfin in the back end. And then I also have... Was it Gambi? I think I have Gambi in the back end, which I like. Okay, so a few more turns left in the Trick Room. I really like where we're sitting. I get they have Iron Hands on the field, but it's not Sword Dance like mine is. I can Rage Power some shots. I can hit hard here. And they don't have Thrasilization. Dark Knight is going to come out here. And what should I do here? I could put Arcanine to sleep, but I don't know if I want to be that person. I'm not sure if I want to be that person. I'm definitely going to Drain Punch into that. I could just Rage Powder here. Or I could heal up my Iron Hands. Hmm. I could also swap Arcanine or uh, Amoongus into Palafin of itself. I don't want to do that. Spore's obviously a play, but I don't want to do it. I'm just going to Rage Powder Shots. Because Iron Hands does go first. I'm just going to Rage Powder Shots. I don't want to be that person in Spore and uh, Spore spam. Spore's obviously the play there. But again, I... Oh, no. I don't want to be that person. I do not want to be that person. So we'll see what Arcanine wants to go for. We actually go before Arcanine and we rip into it. And I would love to get off another clear smoke, but I think that that thing is... Uh, I think Trick Room ends here. Flare Blitz comes in hot here. That's fine. The movement dies out. Obviously, again, Spore was the play, but I'm not going to be that person. I'm not going to be that person. The Arcanine dies a recoil. That's actually pretty big. And now we're sitting here. Now we're sitting in this position. No Trick Room. My Iron Hands is faster than his. And I'm thinking just going into Palafin. What Pokemon do we think he has? I mean, we could save her Palafin. We'll save her Palafin. See what's up with it. And he's going to go into Pulte, guys. Good thing we went this one. So he has no Thrasilization. I think we just Caltech leave in that slot. Or I could... Mm, I could Thrasilize you. What typing is your Terra? That's the real question. I gotta start chipping up damage here. What's your Terra type? Dark. That sucks. That's honestly really bad. That's honestly really bad. I'm just gonna swap into you. I'm just gonna swap into you because Pulte guys might even protect here and just have the Drain Punch KO. So you know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna swap my King Gambit. I'll save it for later. I'll save it for later. The Palfin's gonna come out here for us. I do think a protect maybe Drain Punch coming out here. Let's see. Both you guys does protect. It was a good call from us. Good swap from us. Very, very good swap from us. And the Drain Punch is going to come out from his Iron Hands. So I'm hoping we can take out the Iron Hands next turn. Depending on how much damage. Oh, he's Swords Hands. He's going to take me out. No way you read that. Actually, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. That's perfect. That's fine. That works. Okay, cool. But that's an amazing read. If you read by Palf in there, that's an incredible read. That's an incredible read. So, the round of applause for opponent on that one. But still, that's fine. We just need to get rid of the Iron Hands in order for a King Gambit to come out here and finish this match off. We still have Terror. Our Iron Hands is shredding right now. And this match is game, set, and match. Game, set, and match. We're going to go into a nice, lovely little Thunder Punch. And then we're just going to Terrasalize and just keep Sucker Punching until this thing wants to make a move. But it cancels the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. We made up for match number one. Let's hop into our third and grab ourselves a winning record. Final match coming at you guys. And that second match was perfect. We played that one so well. But it was so funny that both my Iron Hands and their Iron Hands popped Swords Dance at the same time. I thought that was good. But we're going up against a crazy strong combo. Hate going up against the Armusion and Didi. But we're going to make it work. We are going to make it work. They also have Torkoal, Brute Bonnet, Iron Hands, and Gargoyle. So again, another Trick Room team here. We have to figure out a way around it. Iron Hands, obviously going to be an amazing lead. I would love to be able to get off a, uh, a sword stance with this thing. But the problem with this thing is, is going to be the psychic moves. I mean, we got Grass, which is solid, so we might want to Thrasilize in that. But Iron Hands, definitely going to be our lead. I do also want to probably lead maybe Palafin again. 
and just swap it into Amoongus. But Amoongus is terrible up against these Pokemon. So I'm just going to lead King Gambit. I am going to bring Amoongus in the back end. And what I mean by Amoongus is terrible up against these Pokemon, I'm speaking about a DD and Armor. So they can dump on it, no problem, and just get rid of it. So I'm going to lead the King Gambit. So Gambit's going to come in here. Uh, and final Pokemon, I think we just bring in Iron Moth for back end usage, right? Right? I mean, you can take out the Brute on it. I am. Mm, I might want to bring in Pelipper. I'm leaning a bit more towards Pelipper. Weather Control. I like Weather Control. Super effective onto the uh, Iron Hands with a Hurricane. Actually, no, it's neutral. But super effective onto the uh, the Gargle Knuckle, the Torkoal, the Brute Bonnet. Yeah, I like Pelipper. Pelipper's definitely really, really well for us. But I feel like this match is going to be tough. Dude. Indeed, the armor I always have a problem with. So hopefully, I grab ourselves a winning record here. Because that first match didn't go so well. Second match went perfectly. We played that one really well. And then this match, we're going up against. We're going up against this. And everybody hates it, especially me. Especially me. Psychic Surge coming out here. It is an amazing combo. It's just getting old for me. <laughs> it's just getting real old for me. And we cannot suck a punch. I think I'm going to terrestrialize my boy. I think I'm going to terrestrialize. And I'm going to pop a dance full of swords. And then from here, I just think Countdown Cleave's got to be the play. I'm gonna go into the armor slide here. Let's see what he does. You gonna go for the follow me? I understand that terrestrializing in the grass right now is tough for us because he has obviously armor cannon and that's a fire move. But I feel like he's gonna go for that expanding force turn one. Let's go from there. The so follow me does come out here. You gotta be setting up trick room. Now you go for a straight expanding force. So that's exactly why I changed the grass. It does not affect my gambit and my iron hands can then soak this. Then I pop a trick room, which kinda sucks. So we might have to swap here. We might have to swap here. Now that cleave comes out here, KOs, no problem. I wish I had protect. I did wish I do wish I had protect. Because we're dead to another expanded force and we waste our terror. I might just swap and get some value out of the Siren Hands. I do wonder what's going on here. He can't fake he can't fake me out, I know that for a fact. I'm just gonna go for the Cataclysm Leaf here. I'm just gonna start ripping into it. Here comes an armor cannon. That's fine. I'll take this turn all day. I'll take this turn all day. So he's gonna KO my King Gambit. I'm gonna KO his Arm Rouge. And no trick room on the field. I feel like that's a I feel like that's a, a good place for us, right? I feel like that's a really good place for us. Unless he has Torque on the back end. So if he has Torque on the back end, we cannot change the weather after this. We cannot change the weather. And he's gonna have it. Which really sucks. But we count out Cleave, we take out the Arm Rouge. And it turns into a 2v2 situation. I'm terrified because I already know. I already know that this is going to be Torkoal. And if it's Torkoal, he gets weather control for the rest of the battle. I cannot change it. I cannot swap out. And these are the only two Pokemon I have. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to get some work done here. We're going to have to get some work done here. No Torkoal. No Torkoal. And we have a shot. No Torkoal and we have a shot. Actually, we might not even have a shot. I think he's just going to wild charge me. And it's Torkoal. DD arm rouge is so hard to play up against, man. I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with it. I cannot deal with it. So he's gonna get weather control, which is awful. Now I'm trying to think of maybe a possible way that we can work around this. But I don't think there is. Spore spamming? Spore you. Cannot <laughs> do anything after this. Because I wish I had Protect. Um, try to land a Hurricane, maybe get Ducks. We're not going to land a Hurricane, I know that for a fact. Um, it's game set match. It's game set match. Chilling Water comes out here. We'll get the attack drop on this thing. Why <laughs> can't we do one damage? And Thunder Punch is flying. Yeah, Pelper has Sash, but we already know Eruption is coming out here. And that, that that's going to wrap it up. That is going to wrap it up here. Support comes out here. Putting him to sleep. 
match number three does not go well at all. The Arm Rouge and Indeedee combo overpowers us again. But hey, it's all good. It is all good. First match wasn't too bad. We played decently well. Ended up losing that one. Second match we played well. Got some content on the board for you guys. Grabbed ourselves a win. And third and final battle, Indeedee Arm Rouge just way too strong for us to handle. So guys, one and two for today's video did not battle too bad. Ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record, but I really did like this team. I feel like if I played this team a little bit longer and got used to it a little bit more, I could definitely overpower some people and grab ourselves some more wins. But rain combo in series two is definitely still very, very strong. If you guys got a rain team, I know Pelipper and Drenal's all over the meta. Same thing with Palafin and Pelipper, and then a, a variety of other four Pokemon. But like I mentioned, rain is still top tier. Get on top of that. But guys. That is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all the five videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.